happy Thursday, everybody, or whatever day of the week You're it with is. Me. But anyways, I hope what what <laughs> what was that? Recently, he's in this room right here, which is just a nice little hangout room I built inside of this community lot for a club he is part of. And it's called no, it's not this one. It's called the Juilliard Club of Music. Um, I thought it was funny, you know, kind of like oh why. Is Oh, we just bought a new spot the other day. That's why that's empty. But, um, yeah, so I thought it was a little cute spin. If you guys know the Juilliard School of Music, it's this really prestigious school for prodigies or whatever. And I just wanted to reference it in The Sims because I thought it'd be a cool music idea. But here's our Sim right here. His name is Myron Calhoun. Or Myron Calhoun. Well, I made him. His name is Myron Calhoun. <laughs> um... Also, comment down below, what is your guys' drink of choice today? Mine is hot chocolate, so I'm sorry that you can hear it. He's, um, he's just living his life. I'm going to actually send him to his house so you guys can check it out. But, oh, he's just such a cute little Alfie. Oh, but you guys did see that he is part of another club, which is called the THOA, which is short for Tiny Home Owners Association. So you will see his house soon enough, but he actually does have a tiny home. So this is our tiny home, isn't it cute? I'm not gonna bear you through that, but um, I think it's cute. Oh, will you come up in the window? There is actually a painting, if you can see, of um, well, his girlfriend sleep asleep in his bed. So yeah, so you're not looking into the tiny home just yet. You're looking into this cute little entry room where he put a painting on the wall since the window is always open. Um, he thought you should see more than just paneling <laughs> but yeah I thought that was kind of cute um this is the inside of his apartment we have this little walk-in area and then think of this as like a screen door or something so this is his real door um but this is the tiny home it's red themed his showers in the back of the house isn't that nice <laughs> I thought it was nice too um you know you gotta make use of those tile spaces and we have flowers in the bathroom, you know, for some good fragrance. Um, he loves music. He's actually really high in the entertainer slash musician career. He's a level seven. He is a professional pianist. Um, and I know he's kind of rich ish. I don't know. A lot of my sims don't get this rich. So in my world, he's rich. But he still is quite modest. He doesn't really plan to move out of here just yet, um, even though he could certainly afford to. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it's quite cute. I really like it, which is one reason why I won't want to move out yet is because I worked really hard for this and he did not, you know, he could live here longer. <laughs> but yeah, so here's his little bed, you know, his little attic boxes, um, his TV, which I never use this TV at all. It's so dark now that he left. Let me just turn on all the lights. But I never use this TV ever. I don't know why. I just don't like it very much in most builds. But I thought it was very necessary in here. Um, this is a really funny drawing that one of his friends had came over his house and painted the first day that he invited people over. And so he's always kept it. So it's called um, From Cameron. So that's what it is. And like, see, like he doesn't even have anywhere to display his trophy yet. But, you know, he's not ready to move yet. And I like to think that since he doesn't have a sink out here, that he likes to use, like, paper plates and utensils so he doesn't, like, have to clean dishes. Um, but yeah, so I think that's quite nice. Um, we're going to let him eat some food before he leaves. Um, also, I love this table, and I forgot that it came with City Living, so if you guys didn't remember that table and you like it, you know, go ahead and check that out. And then this is actually his photo wall that I think is quite nice. Um... So the main people in these pictures is right here. This one's Cameron, um, the girl. Oh, and on the left is this mural that he had painted with two of his best friends the first day he moved in. And so he keeps restoring it, um, but when it eventually goes away, he'll at least have that memory because that's a nice painting. And then the redhead is Merida, and she's supposed to be Irish. I kind of got inspiration from Merida from the movie Brave, the Disney movie, um, because I loved her. Um, so I had, to, I had to try. Um, and then the other girl, like, right here in the second row is Justine Maldonado. And she is another one of my sims, and that is his girlfriend. Um, they're kind of serious, so they're really cute together. You guys will see her later in the episode. Oh, he has a new quirk. 
As a celebrity, Myron has become accustomed to excellent quality meals. Eating food that doesn't meet his lofty quality expectations will make him increasingly uncomfortable. Great! Can't wait to deal with that. Oh, but he's at work. He also has to work in a little suit, and I just think it's so cute. Also, these windows are so beautiful. Okay, whatever. Oh, his face! Did you get in a fight? Oh, you're just tired. Okay, score no more. Myron has been practicing and practicing a section of score and just can't quite get it right. It is more than a little frustrating. Should he keep at it or take a break? Um, I think that he would keep at it. Perseverance pays off. Suddenly the section clicks. There's no stopping Myron now. Lovely. So, yeah. Um, and then we have this window over here, which is also quite lovely. Oh, it's getting dark. He's back. Oh, is this dead? <laughs> I can't tell. I don't... What is this? It's normal. Okay. Um, this is just a rose bush. Myron's not much of a gardener, but he thought that it would be quite nice if he were to take one of the roses that Justine gave him and make a rose bush in his house to kind of, you know, have that memory, <laughs> you know, because he's quite the sentimentalist. So that's what that's about. But he does keep up with his nice little bonsai tree. So we support. But yeah, he's exhausted. So I'm going to let him go ahead and go to sleep. Um, but um, yeah. Oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I forgot. I um I had played in Justine's household because she has a sister who I was really excited to play with because Justine wants to be an actress, that's chill or whatever. But his sister wants to be an attorney and she did go to school for it and they both went to, you know, university. And I'm just excited. So I went in and played a little bit and I let um Myron and her do a little risky woohoo, but I didn't know what the percentages were, and then she got pregnant, and I forgot about that until right now. So anyways, baby born. Hello, Myron. Justine here. I wanted to let you know that I just had Magdalena, a beautiful baby girl. Huh. <laughs> but that's lovely. So she's pregnant. Wait, that's a lie. She gave birth. We have a daughter. Big deal. I'm glad you guys were here for it. Because <laughs> apparently we weren't there for it. Um, so we'll probably invite her over tomorrow morning. Because I'm presuming that he's going to like wake up, see the text message, and then be like, wow. And then we'll invite her over. And we'll move in. <laughs> as long as she wants to move in. If she doesn't want to move in, I guess we're not moving in. But I think she would want to. Like, we have a fairly good relationship. We, we were. Where is she? Yeah, yeah, we have an amazing relationship. SimCity Acting Union. Oh yeah, I made a club for her. Um, but they're soulmates, girlfriend, boyfriend. They know nothing about each other. I've been trying to work on it, guys. I try to make them get to know each other. Oh, the reason why they don't know anything about each other is because um, I'm I had a first scratch save file that I was working on, um, and then. I, like, decided to make another one because the other one just stressed me out, so I wanted to start over, but I wanted all my Sims in that one, and so I had to, like, do a little tinkering and basically put them all into a different save file, um, and so when I did that, I just made everybody who was dating somebody automatically date them, so they don't really know anything about them, but I swear they knew each other before, <laughs> and they still kind of know each other, it's just, you get it. Anyways, <laughs> I can't get you out of my mind lately. Want to go on a date and get some breakfast at Bob's Burgers and Pancakes? I would love to. Also, I made this little diner that was supposed to be inspired by Bob's Burgers, but it's not because in Bob's Burgers they have like an apartment above their diner and I usually don't like doing that, but I really wish that we could do that. Like I would love like at home businesses and stuff like that. I would really appreciate it. I know there's mods, but I don't want to have to have a mod to do it. But yeah, so basically in the first save where I made this restaurant, um, I made Bob's pancakes have three kids so they're all like named after the kids of the show and then um I gave him this diner and so I made it a pun because in the show it's Bob's Burgers but here it's Bob's Burgers and Pancakes um you're welcome I feel like I'm talking a lot in this so you're welcome everybody this is me um let's ask you about our day actually let's not do that I'm sorry we're in a group already let's get a table because there's like only three tables in here and they always get filled up so quickly. So let's request this table. Before we do anything else, let's just go ahead and give a table. Do you guys see this lovely outfit we got going on here? Like, I just felt like this floral was meant to be. 
And then we have a nice mixologist. Oh, hey, Morgan. Nadine. I didn't make her, but one of my sims ended up dating her. She's just a randomized county. Go ahead, sit down. Come on. Do you ever think that you're... Here's your table. Thank you. Do you guys ever think that, like, when you say, like, oh, that's just a randomized county, like, that's how he gets offended? I'm just kidding, because, you know, they can't hear you, but... Hey! For a second, I thought that was us losing manners. I was like, what did you do? She's like, ha, 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 hey! Let's go ahead and order for the table. Myron has learned that she's an extra at Plum Bob Pictures Crew. See, now we know where she works, officially. Oh, we should move in so that way we can have Thanksgiving together. Okay, so what should we eat? I don't remember if she's vegetarian. I really feel like she's not because I don't make most of my sins a vegetarian, so I can avoid this situation. Hmm, so now that she's not pregnant, I'm sure she would like to drink a, lot, a ton of coffee. Um... And he'll get, I don't know what time of day it is. I think it's the morning. So he'll get some milk, you know, for those Bones kids. I don't know. Please don't. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying half the time. So, ooh, a baked potato. Not for breakfast, though. Um, I guess we'll get some scrambled eggs with bacon. And she can have... Um... <laughs> Is this vegetarian safe? It's not. Ooh, gumbo. I love gumbo, guys. It is so good. Uh, she can have a grilled cheese. <laughs> I think that's quite nice. We'll pay, you know, because we can. <laughs> Most of the time I don't pay because I'm like, you asked me out here and like, I broke. But he's loaded, so it's fine. Um, oh, also, I'm kind of trying out a sm um, not really a mic. I have different earphones in, and they obviously have a mic so you can hear me, but we'll see how good it is. <laughs> I love making it awkward. So, anyways, hi goth family, what are you guys doing? I just need to age him up. I actually plan on aging up all of the townies that come with a game in my save file, just to make it more interesting, because they're always there. <laughs> they're always, no, like they're nothing. <laughs> they're nothing to the scene. I mean, like, there's, uh, let me just, I had a coughing fit, we're fine. Anyways, hey, let's be enticing, whatever that's about. Why are we in a group conversation? I don't want to be romantic in a group conversation. Just saying, stop. Why are you doing this? I just want to talk to you. <laughs> oh, whenever, I'm just going to talk to her. Level up and charisma. Interesting. Um... Yeah, let's flirt it up. Actually, let's do what we've been here to do. Can we ask you to join our household? I know, hey, look, I know you live in this really nice pet house with your sister, but will you come live in a shack with us? And she said, okay. So let's go ahead and get our kid here so we can rename her and our girlfriend. And this is her sister, Brindley Maldonado. I think it's a nice name. Um, she doesn't really need to bring any money with her, but, like, I feel like it's just realistic if she does, so, like, you know, just a little, because, you know, her sister has a really huge apartment, and now that she's gone, I don't know how she's gonna afford it, so, <laughs> we're gonna see how that goes, but, where is she, what are you, oh, now I can tell you to stop talking to them, that's even better, okay, all right, yeah, we're just gonna go home now. <laughs> I can't do anything about this. Actually, wait, is this our baby? <laughs> Why is our baby here? Oh, she's not supposed- Okay, this is a bad idea on all levels, guys. What? You're not supposed to be able to enter build mode. Okay, I'm just gonna see if I can put my baby in our inventory. Oh, oh no, I can't. What do I- oh, sorry. What- my baby is just chilling in the middle of the room. Uh, can I rename her like this? I'm just- I can't, so I might as well age her up. <laughs> okay, hey, baby. <laughs> Let's- this is the only way I can think to take you home. Thank you. Oh, she looks cute. Okay, her trait? She's a charmer. Nice. Oh, I love whatever you're wearing. Okay, I'm gonna help them out. 
And I'm going to delete this bassinet because no restaurant has a bassinet. Oh, like, let's see what she looks like. Because her parents are really good looking. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, she looks so mad. Does our baby have a bald spot? Oh my gosh, our baby has a bald spot. What? Okay, thanks. <laughs> okay, it's just if you're too far. Interesting. Okay. So, if you guys don't know what this is, um, excuse the obsessive fountain in the front, but this is a museum I made to take over the art center um, that was originally here. Um, but basically, the idea behind this museum is, um, it's called the Day, a Day, what is it? The Day Day? I don't know. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Let me just, let me just do this real fast. Um, <laughs> so let's take a photo. Wait, cancel. Take picture carrying. So our white, not, uh, our girlfriend carrying our daughter. Let's go. <laughs> Okay. I brought us to this museum I made called um, Days of Our Lives Museum, and if you guys have watched Friends, um, you would get the reference. But anyways, the point of this museum is that Sims can come here to the top floor and get a lot of photo, like diff photography pictures, um, like professional photography done. And then you put one of your pictures at one of the first two levels of the museum to kind of immortalize your Sims, so you know. It's how they're remembered in the Sims community. And I thought that was a cool idea. So I did that. Don't they look cute? But you could also just come here and get some family photos because this is the only photography studio I've made in game. Well, not in game, but that I, this is just an interesting photo that I've made in this save. So I don't know why she looks so mad. <laughs> She's so cute. Also, what I love about the, um, Justine and Myron is that they both have like this denim look going for them but um, it was never like set up or planned it wasn't intentional um, but I think it's just really cute so oh look at our angel she's so cute okay great so Justine got her pictures um so now, I don't know why she's so mad. Like, what are you going through? It said it was her personality. Where is her personality? I have slice of life in, so I'm guessing it's the supervisor. Excellent administrators, unsurpassed at managing things or people. Popular hobbies for the ESTJ include building and repairing things around the home, gardening, volunteering, community service, and playing and watching sports. Cool. That's actually really nice to know. Like, it gives them a lot more personality, it seems like. But now we're going to go ahead and take a picture of Myron carrying our daughter. If Myron's just smiling, happy. Okay, I think she just may be a daddy's girl. Let's go ahead and... <gasps> You're so cute, sweetie pie. Okay. Oh, this is so cute. Memories. You guys look like goals. <laughs> She's such a cute baby. Hmm, I think we already got this picture, but we can get it again. Perfect. They're so cute together. I just love them. I just do. I really, really do. Okay. Nancy's just so hurt. She's so sad. Anyways, let's take a photo with Myron. Um, hopefully our baby will stay close. Um, finally got it, guys. Okay, I just love that our baby wants to be part of it. Wait, this is just me. That's just one of our pictures. Can I just put... I can't just put her. <laughs> it's so cute. This is how you get your cutest kid photos. Like, I kind of want, like, the poses I used to get in, like, The Sims 2 when they had, photo, like, their photo booths and The Sims 3 when they had their Seasons Festival family photos. Like, I really wish you could get more pictures like that. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and have everyone head home so we can go ahead and handle these needs better and I'll see you guys there. Alrighty, so we are back here now just grabbing some dinner. Um, they're kind of just having a, you know, a conversation. Um, very pleasant, very short-lived. Oh, I know one thing I'm gonna do. So, I don't know if Justine knows. No, she does not. Okay. Justine is going to, I, I have to, 
I have to do a little bit of tweaking. But in my previously, where Justine and my room were together, she hated one of his friends. Perhaps his best friend, actually. She hated Cameron. And so I'm going to let her hate them. Um, but yeah, I'm convinced it's because in the beginning, when Myron first got here, his first crush was on Cameron. And I don't presume he ever told Justine, but I feel like she perhaps felt the chemistry. And that made her go crazy because there was no plate in her hand. Justine, what are you doing? Can we... What? Let's just <laughs> give her a minute. Um... But yeah, and so I'm going to actually have him, the night's still early, so I'm going to have him invite the club over, um, and we're going to, we're going to do it. <laughs> that was funny. She thought it was funny. Um, let's go ahead and finish this. And I'm actually just going to let her, you know, live out her anger now. So, whenever Cameron arrives, we can do that. Oh, but this is Merida. I love Merida. She's a gamer. She's Irish. That's the thing, right? I think it's, I think it's, let's pretend like I'm accurate, please. <laughs> oh, and funny enough, she's actually dating Travis Scott. That's his name, right? I think it is. Um, which you guys know, he's in the BFF household, I believe. Um, but yeah, Cameron's here and she's going to be like, what is she doing here? Hey, what are you doing here? Um, yeah, look, girl, you know we have a baby now, so... Oh, we could attempt to steal her money? I mean... <laughs> Let's just yell at her. I'm just gonna do it. No, Myron, get out of the conversation. Actually, you know what? I think it might be realistic if he listens. It looked like she was gonna go turn off the music. She was gonna, like, look. And she's gonna insult her, and she's gonna get real, real mad... Um, because this is just how she feels. She's like, what are you doing here? Like, look, I see the way you look at my man, and I don't approve. I don't know who you think you are trying to break up our happy relationship, but you are wrong, okay? Like, I don't know where you come from. I don't know anything about you, but, like, I don't like you. Because you really need to back off. That's everything she said, you know? Just translating, translating the simlish for you. So... And he's like, ooh. And he's, we're going to say this is just loud, but he's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you're saying that in front of our daughter. Um, let's just come to our, you know, <laughs> this is how you distract yourself. Oh my gosh, look, my kid. <laughs> that's a good, that's a good way to get out of a conversation. Oh my gosh, my child. <laughs> Gotta go. Oh, you guys are so cute though. Like why, why your mom's over here having a fight? Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> yeah, this is so cute. Are <laughs> you? Hey. Wow, and the fact that she hasn't even gotten mad is even better. <gasps> we can fight her? Let's do it! <laughs> it's like, I'm so excited. Let's go fight her. <laughs> she she sits next to her on the bed. Oh, she's getting into her first fight. Cameron and Justine now despise each other. You guys haven't even fought yet. Oh, wow. Okay, I guess that fight doesn't do anything. Which fight does something? Oh, oh, my bad. I'm so sorry. Turns out she lost. <laughs> like, I think that's what that means. Um, because I don't think she has any, any wounds or scars, does she? No, no, I think you lost. Well, honestly, that's not great. This is actually when he comes in and he stops them. Like, look, we're going to be mean and yell at her a little bit. Um, yeah, because, like, she just got in a fight with her baby mama, and, like, I know her baby mama started it, but, like, she's our baby mama! <laughs> it's like, what is wrong with you? Like, you just hurt my girlfriend? Like, do you not see our baby over there being all cute? Like, she is a mother. Like, what are you, a dog mom? <laughs> Actually, she is. It's really cute, though. Her dogs are so cute. You guys will see her dogs later. Maybe I'll do, like, a little current household with all of them. Oh, Oh my gosh, wait, she's, okay, her kid's actually horrible. I think she's following after her mother and, like, being awful. Um, what, what? <laughs> what, you feel like a big kid now? Like, what is that? Um, how do I parent? I don't mean to be mean. I just want to tell you you're not being good. <laughs> oh, stop playing with pans, that's dangerous. 
Okay, you're just a little monster. Is it because she didn't see you? <laughs> the mo she, you guys saw that side eye, right? And she was like, oh. Are you, are you guys trying to be friends? No. Honestly? No, we don't. Okay, he sucks at being mad. He's Insult her and yell at her. I'm like, help. And he's like, at, at the end of this, he's going to be like, um, he's like, you don't even listen to good music. Like, what is that? Experimental? I don't even know if that's a music genre. <laughs> oh my gosh, look how long her name is, though. Magdalena Maldonado. That's cute. I'm still going to change it, but... <laughs> Wait, what? You guys did not have a relationship at all. What is this? I think you should go. <laughs> Where is that? We are not tipping her. Ask to leave. We're trying to ask her to leave. Honestly, can we revoke our best friendship? I don't know how to do Oh, wait, we can. I know how to do it. You know, I just can't deal with you. Get out of my house. Get out. And then she leaves, right? And then we're going to go to Merida. Why are none of... Like, they're still not in a bad mood. Oh, she got stuck behind Meredith's chair. And then we're going to... Oh, they're being cute. We're going to become best friends. Honestly, um, and the other save, these two were best friends. And Merida had a crush on him before Justine came along. Um, but obviously Justine didn't hate her because, you know, there was no, like... There was none of that chemistry going on, so... Oh, my and Calhoun and Merida Owens are becoming best friends. <laughs> so cute. Um, Myra and Cameron have fallen out of touch. Yeah, we have. And they're no longer best friends. Honestly. Um, so now we're gonna end this. <laughs> because it's, it's just loud. Um. Oh my gosh. Okay, Justine, you see your child this time. How do we parent? <laughs> Parenting, discipline, recent behavior. We're gonna be very strict with her. Um. Dang. Mama got a big black eye, like. <laughs> Okay, good, good. She's being better. She's being better. So, um, okay, we ended this. You can leave. <laughs> Is she going? Wait, I forgot. I can just make her leave. My bad. Um, but yes. We're gonna clean that up. He is gonna go to the bathroom. And then I think we're actually going to move. Um... Even though he honestly loves this place, so it breaks his heart to leave, but it's for the best because we have a baby girl and we have no space for her in this house. So let's go ahead and pack up our photos, you know, even the ones with Cameron in it. We just won't put them up at the new house. So. Hmm. And let's go ahead and just take our laptop because why not? And I do want to take that. And I guess we'll take the painting too. We're going to sell this one because nobody cares for it. Oh, and he should take all of his instruments. Oh, got to put that in the other inventory. Oh, we're going to take our rose bush. All right, and we have to say goodbye. Oh, but this was a beautiful mural. Actually, here, I could show you guys in daytime so you can see it better. Um, da 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 da. Da, da. Oh. Okay. So this was the mural. Isn't it so... Oh. Isn't it nice? I really like this mural. Um, but we'll have to build a new one. On the next house. Um, perhaps... I'll be able to fit it somewhere. I can. I'll probably get them like a nice garage door and put a mural on that. But we're gonna place that. Why is this our inventory? I was like, where did he move from? This is not... Oh, this is not his inventory. Oh, my gosh. That's horrible. This is actually... Um, when I moved them into the save file, I just put all the tiny home association members in the same file. Um, so this is actually all... Of, I, think these are, I think this is just all Cameron stuff. So, we're going to sell it. Um... And I'll probably use it to help them get a bigger house because he is like really well in his career and you would think that 
at the end of this, he would have a lot of money to show for it. So this is nothing new. I'm sure you guys have seen this house before, but here's what it's looking like. And I'm kind of going to do some minor tweaking. Alrighty, everybody, so I lied. <laughs> I ended up doing pretty much full makeover of the movie in, but now we can officially call it quits, except I actually have to do her whole outfits. Hold on. So her name's Melody Maldonado. Calhoun, I don't think you can fit all that in here. Like, oh, no, you cannot. Um, but I think I'm gonna change it to Calhoun because I feel like that's just what they would have done, you know? But she's such a cutie pie. Oh, we can see what she looks like it's aged up. I'll let you guys see her because, you know, I want to see her. Oh, <laughs> she's kind of cute. Let me just, if we just get rid of that, and then, I mean, she's a cute sim. Like, she's so adorable. Aw, she's so adorable. Ooh, I'm spoiling, I'm spoiling. Okay, I'm sorry. But, like, who knows if you guys will see this kind of one again. Like, I presume I'll keep playing, but, like, maybe they won't come back, maybe they will. Oh, now she doesn't look the same. Ah, cancel, cancel, undo, undo, background check, boo, boo, boo. Let me put her in bed. Toddlers? Who? Oh, stop being mad. Just go to bed. Come on. Come on. I know it will kill for a makeover, but like, look at that little face. Oh, she's so cute. Also, I think this is cute, but I wish the stars kind of came over it, but I see why they don't. Okay, bye. <laughs>